Good morning, Pen Fam. How we doing? How we doing? <clears throat> Hope everyone's having a good morning so far, or a good afternoon, or a good evening, depending on which time zone you're in. Hi. Hi. Good morning, Brad. Thursday is my 40th birthday, but now at the last minute, we've had to schedule my three-year-old for a tonsillectomy on Thursday, the joys of middle age and parenting. Let's go. <laughs> Happy 40th. RIP to the tonsils. Red Kite with the stream giveaway. Let me get these uh, Let me get these subs, then we're going to get the giveaway in. Quickly. Quickly. <clears throat> Great Scott. 23 months of subbing. Almost two years. Let's go. All of Octopus Inc. with the raid. 11. That's my favorite number. Raid party of 11. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm here because I'm still recovering from the fever. I'm recovering. Can you tell I'm recovering from being sick? Let me look at my eyes and hear my voice. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, Toga. <coughs> 23. 23 months of subbing. Intro music. Did you hear the Did you hear the music? I hope not. Whoops. Peck of Purple Plumes, 26 months of subbing. Let's go. Two Hands of Blue, 42 months of subbing. Good prime number there. Uh, two Hands of Blue, I appreciate you. AVL Marty, 26 months of subbing. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. I don't know if you've made it home yet. <clears throat> All right. Let's, uh, you heard, there was intro music? Was it my, uh, my husband was in the R this Saturday and found out he has pneumonia. Oh my gosh, Tess. You cannot catch a break. The music was definitely not deliberate, which makes me wonder if it's coming through my camera because my, my microphone was definitely muted. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> yeah, it was um, it was most deaf and tabloid quality. Uh, it was Black Star definition. I wonder the last thing I played um, was a game, I think, right? So my PC speakers um, were unmuted. I bet you that's what it is. Okay, I think I got it. I don't know how to stream chat. And just think, I've ordered my new computer. It's gonna be so broken here pretty soon. So broken. <clears throat> now that's one of my hype songs um, that, uh, that I get into. All right, Red Kite, we have a giveaway. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I'd like to get some ink out there before it gets too cool to be sitting in ink. <clears throat> All right, so let's do a double ink combo. New keyboard too? Well, I'm gonna get uh, Mike to help pick me out a keyboard. <laughs> what kind of computer are we talking? Like, I am not a computer expert. I did like a pre-built where I just kind of picked and choosed like the things I wanted and it was expensive. <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, then I'll do my computer separate. <clears throat> All right, so let's do a two inks, new camera cables to go with it. It's really just the USB connection for the camera that's um, wonky. All right, let's see what inks I picked out here. <clears throat> oh, Pepperberry. So Van Diemen's Pepperberry. One person's going to win both of these. These are both good inks. Tendicon, Tendicon, Tendicon. Um, how long do computers last? I mean, this one's going to keep lasting. It's about seven years old. But I'm starting to have a few uh, at my desk mat. Uh, I'm going to watch that today. Pay attention to which version of USB. Um, yes, I think. So this Pepperberry, I think, is like a blue-black, purplish thing. Good morning, Mafia Geek. And then Tandy Kun is looks like a more muted. So one person's going to win both of these. <clears throat> Excuse me. So chat... There's going to be a lot of extraneous noise today. I will tell you uh, once I get into this real quick. Spoopy inks. They could be. Two inks. All right, Red Kite, thank you so much for doing this. I want to get these. Um, like I said, I want to start shipping some of these inks I have. Uh, so one person is going to win both. Um, All right, giveaways open, exclamation point waffle, exclamation point waffle. Anyone can enter, anyone can win. You don't have to be a follower, a member, a subscriber. You don't have to live in the United States, a ship worldwide. Guess what, chat? <clears throat> Let everyone know we back up. Yeah, let everyone know we back up, chat. Let everyone know we back up. <laughs> We back up. <laughs> so, who sent me this? 
<laughs> Pensive Ponderer, are you in here? Pensive Ponderer. <laughs> Pensive Ponder wanted to get us back up, chat. <laughs> so these will be going out with all of the giveaway winners here uh, for the next, I don't know. Yeah, I guess they're all here. 40. <laughs> <laughs> Pensive Ponderer, thank you for this. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I know y'all want them. So the winner will not only win these inks, you're going to get a Wopex, thanks to Pensive Ponderer. Ponderer. We back up, chat. Oh my god. These just showed up in my uh, my P.O. box. <laughs> if you'd like to resend your waffle, uh, you can't. <clears throat> I should keep one of these boxes in here. Take this one back out. So, thank you, Pensive Ponderer. I'm glad you're here. <clears throat> Leave the inks, take the Wopex. True. Yeah, SD Rednecks actually only wants the Wopex. I love that it says upcycled wood. What was the wood before? Toilet pl plunger handle? It could be. It very well could be. Um, real quick, just so I don't have to keep belaboring it today. Um, while this giveaway is finishing up. Is it Twitch or are you buffering? Uh, looks like you. I think I'm good over here. Um, I have been very sick over the weekend. <clears throat> and today's the first day I felt good since like Saturday afternoon. Sunday, Sunday I was pretty much... Uh, in bed all day. Uh, Monday felt a little bit better. Got a lot of work done. But I think just massive allergy crush right now. Um, and I'm still coming out of it. If you can't tell by my voice. And when I go back to the full screen, my eyes are just shot. Let's go, Electronaut. 11. 11. Uh, not COVID. <clears throat> just allergy stuff. So uh, feeling much better. But it wiped me out pretty much Saturday to Monday. Um, today's the first day I felt good since like Saturday morning. So, uh, <clears throat> so we're gonna um, we're gonna have extra extra sounds today, and we probably won't go super long because I'm probably gonna crash pretty hard. I'll probably go. Uh, I'll probably get like really tired um, the longer we go here. So. <clears throat> temp change, maybe. Uh, I was outside a lot Friday and Saturday, and I wonder if that was it. So let's pick a winner. Yeah, let's go. Paul wants that Wopex so bad. Let's go. Poor Penman, you went to urgent care yesterday. You win a giveaway today. Let's go. All right, email me. Hello at penanic.com. If you email me now, I haven't shipped last week's stuff because one, I got sick this weekend, and then two... Uh, yesterday I didn't ship because uh, it was a postal service um, closure for the holiday. So, poor penman. So, yeah, I will ship these today because when I'm done with this, I have to go ship. <clears throat> Urgent care greater than Wopex. It's kind of like a tie. Oops, probably like a tie. Oh, Miss Cookie got an accidental. <laughs> Miss Cookie got an accidental win. The washi tape fell on the uh, the washi tape fell on my keyboard. Miss Cookie. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do a random. Uh, we're gonna see if we can do a random field notes or something. Uh, let me do this for poor Penman. Then I will do. Uh, oh shit! Almost did it again. Curse word. All right, let me fix this so it doesn't uh, pick any more winners. Send her a whoop, excellent. Yeah, actually, Miss Cookie, yeah, you just got to bork, bin, bork, redeem, clean out a pen. Okay, we're going to do that. Hang on one second, and I'll show you the pens I have inked up. All right. Y'all are on it today. I like it. Might even get to the uh, the stream audit. All right. So let's do this. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> I 
Pepperberry so good. I know. It really is. That's one that I should like be keeping for myself. That's like actually both of these colors. That's probably why they're in here because I have too many other colors like those already. Um, so we're giving them away. All right, Miss Cookie. Let's see. Ooh. Let's go. I'm gonna go into the pin case. Oh shh. See what I can pick out here. Right, did you see Brooks from Penn's website are there? Great, I did not. All right, <clears throat> Miss Cookie. All right, it's a Peacock Brass Town. Wow, that's fancy. <clears throat> oh yeah, this one's a little disheveled, a little, little fuzzy. Little fuzzies out everywhere. Let's we'll see if we can clean this one up for Miss Cookie. See if it's not too min too too damaged. These are like um, these are like mid. <clears throat> Switching from one anxiety medication to another and it's miserable. Thankfully, budget Sam for my husband business trip across the country was supposed to be this week was canceled and he's doing most of the work with the kids while I lay around for a while. I hope you I hope that uh, kicks in for you, Incubize statistician. I think I'm pretty scared. Like there, I actually want to make a change <clears throat> in mind. Miss Cookie, email me. Hello at penaddict.com. Um, I'm scared to make a change in mine. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Forgot if I've already asked you this one, Brad, but if you could only have one color of ink, but as many shades, brand of colors you like, what color would you choose for me? I'd go purple. Ooh, that's a good one. No, I wouldn't go blue black, but I might go like bright blue. Like does that cause I, I wouldn't say blue and say like all the different shades of blue. Purple's a really good choice because there's a good variety there. It wouldn't be orange. I don't think there's enough variety in orange, although I, I have become gone to gaunt. God, words are hard this morning. Um I have enjoyed like a lot of um Orange, brown oranges recently. I don't think I'd go orange. Probably purple. Like, I don't think, I think blue, picking just blue is cheating. <laughs> Too many oranges get nib crud. <clears throat> yeah, I've gotten rid of some of those. All the teals. I'm trying to not pick purple as well. Hey, need a journal, how are you doing? Thank you for the 34 months of subbing. Appreciate it. We have the windows open so Toby can hear the birds chirping and it's kind of bugging him. What are they saying? <laughs> I wouldn't be green. I, yeah, I think it might be purple. <laughs> Not picking orange like Lamy Special Edition. Thank you, Miss Cookie. What the birds are saying is not appropriate for stream. True, true. Um, I think I'll, I'll pick purple. I think I'll pick purple as well because you can get a lot of you can get a big range in there. I think it's unfair to just say blue. I think there's blues, which are your royal standards. I think there's blue blacks, and then there's like the bright blues my second choice would be like that bright blue range like say like con pecky and around that range but i don't think there's enough differentiation that you can get with like purple you'd have to say blue and then it's like too many <clears throat> i think purple includes blurple i find the standard royal blue to be flat and dull every now and then it freaking hits <clears throat> all right we got to clean a pen who redeemed the clean a pen who is it that redeemed clean a pen? Was it Bork Ben Bork? That's a big, that's a big redemption. So let's play it proper justice. Pay it proper justice. <clears throat> brown, I actually thought about brown, but I don't, I don't think it was enough. Was that you Bork Ben Bork that did the clean a pen? One dog night, 55 months of subbing, let's go. 
I gave so much out fire on fire on fire this weekend that people must have the shimmer. Oh, I saw you got a, you said you got a hundred, a uh, hundred count box. Roar, soul, soul Farino. I have not used that. Is that a Brad clean? Yeah, I have to clean a pen and I'm trying to figure out, was it Bork Ben Bork that did the rep? Was that you though, Bork Ben Bork? Because you, I'm about to show you the pens that I have inked up. I only have four pens inked up. So this is actually a huge redemption. <clears throat> this is a monster redemption here. Because this is literally all I have inked up. And they're all for a reason. <laughs> all right. So we have... This is, this is, I promise, this is all the fountain pens I have inked up. I did a cleaning last week or two weeks ago now and left these four. So we have the Homo Sapiens with the green Kiyo no Oto ink. We have the Lamy Safari Atoya with the Lamy Blue ink cartridge. I believe I picked in this one. I haven't used this in a couple days, so yeah. I think that's a Lamy Blue ink cartridge. We have the Rainbow... Uh, River City Pen Co. that I was uh, reviewing uh, or in the queue for review um, that I was doing the writing with the other day. Um, and this has the bright blue, what did we put in there? I wrote it down. Blue Mare from Roaring Klingner. Do the rules state whether you can ink them up again right away? Um, they don't state that, but I would, I would uh, honor the concept. I don't own any white inks. And then the last one is the uh, Good Made Better Jester with orange ink, uh, Diamine Orange ink cartridge. So any of these, this is literally all the fountain pens I have. The only white ink I have is in the Uniball Gel. Uh, was it UM-153? Uniball Gel ink pen. I don't have any white fountain pen or dip, dip inks. All right, Bork Ben Bork. This is... Uh, these are your choices. We cleaned out lots of pens the other day. If you have a pen inked and it's ready to refill and want to continue using it, do you clean it or simply refill it? Uh, clean it. I, I, well, are you saying the same ink, Papa Wea? If you're doing the same ink, I'd do it this, maybe like two times in a row with the same ink. After like two times in a row, I would clean it and then use the same ink again. I'm not going to go... Um, I'm not going to be too, too intense about it. Did I back the new Ajoto Kickstarter? I did. It's super weird. <clears throat> so yeah, with the, uh, if I run back, what pen, I just did one. I just ran back. One of my pens, I it was one of the brown inks. What pen did I just clean recently? Oh, okay, the um, Retro 51 Coffee. So that pen and review, I had the Antique Sepia Kobe ink in it. I wrote the whole thing dry and then filled it up again with the same ink um, without cleaning it. After twice, I would clean it. If I wanted to stick with the same ink, I would clean it then. Uh, after two rounds, <clears throat> and then go. Visconti, Bork Ben Bork. I mean, this, honestly, Bork Ben Bork, this is the right answer because this one is the most, <laughs> it's the biggest pain in the butt to clean. <laughs> the rest of these are easy. <laughs> this was actually the right answer, Bork Ben Bork. <laughs> All right, so let me go. Um, this is going to require uh, some accessories. So let me uh, let me go get um, let me go get what I need to clean this, and I'll show you all how to clean a uh, piston filler or whatever they call these things, power filler. Uh. <laughs> Bork Ben Bork, is it got him? All right, give me two seconds. It's gonna take me a minute to prep. <clears throat>
I'm thinking, chat, have we ever redeemed this one before? Because this is a true chaos giveaway. Um, because of the amount of ink drops you have to use, you have to spend 1,000. You can either choose a giveaway at 100,000 points or choose for me to clean a pen at 101,000 points. So <clears throat> Bork, Bork Ben Bork chose chaos. He chose not to do a giveaway. He chose pain for me, which I can appreciate. Yeah, this pen shot cleaned shockingly well. It was my one hang up until um <clears throat> until someone had this pen and tested out how the ink, how it handled ink, um, like around here. I, I held off on that. Yeah, they have a cooldown. <clears throat> You've won plenty of giveaways. This is more fun. All right, so this is a piston. I don't think I've ever taken the nib out of these, and I don't think I'm gonna start now. What's up, Dutch Bill? Yeah, the giveaway was timed out. So we're just gonna try to empty this in here and let's see what happens. And I'm gonna do it above the ink so we can see how much is in here. Oh, not too much. I've been using this one. So we're just gonna keep this in the water and keep um, drawing in water and pushing out. And then I'll go uh, rinse this water and we'll do a uh, this does need a number afterward, power filler, 5,000. So I move it around in the clean water so I can see that it's actually doing stuff. So what we'll do is we're gonna do this for a while. <laughs> then we're gonna go get uh, some clean water and then uh, see how it goes. And I'm being careful not to hit the nib on the bottom of the bowl right? Because it's a gold nib. You don't want to like, I mean, I can touch it. It'd be very, very, very easy. Like that's not a big deal, but I don't want to make sure I don't want to like jam it into the bottom. Yeah, this is a piston. So I, um, a redemption was done for a pen cleaning. All right. So we just filled this up here. I'm going to shake it a little bit. <clears throat> so you want to shake it a little bit. Um, with it filled and then get some of it out. So this is why I like pistons as a concept, but I'll take a converter because now if I'm cleaning it this way, I need to go clean this and get some clear water to see where we're at. can't be a piston because the closed state has the piston down then I guess it's it's whatever that theirs is called a power filler or whatever so I guess it's more of a back style so now you see like all of that cleaning in the um in the other bowl so we've just drawn up the ink here and pushing it back out it's very clean right you can see how easy this cleans at So this is actually really impressive, to be honest. So now we'll do it in the air a few times just to kind of push out the water. And then I'm going to take the piston all the way back. That's true. It's not a piston because it's not. I'm not twisting it up and down and up and down. All right, see you later, Lenny. Um, so now we're going to shake it and see if we can dislodge anything else and just kind of see what we see what we're, see where we're at here. Man, did pizza scare you? All 
So I always try to like keep an eye out where I kind of shake it out and look, see that? That came up from around the collar right here. So I'm wondering, are these easy to disassemble? Like, is this just twist out if I try? I almost feel like I need to uh, clean out right in the uh, in the housing. So I guess let's try, right? Because all the, I think the barrel's clean, but it was like this, right? So this is, it's always good to, if you're gonna dry it out on a paper towel, it's always good to, to kind of leave it and so you know where the ink's coming out of. Like nothing is coming out of like the nib and everything, but like, like around the housing, it looks like it. So let's see. <clears throat> Yeah, so you can see there's some ink up around the edge here, which I would like to get out. Number six, yeah, I guess it's a number six. I don't know exactly how Visconti calls their sizes, but. So yeah, let's see. Are these friction fit? I don't really want to mess with this too much. There we go. Okay, it's not bad. The whole housing comes out. So this would have been easier to clean if we just did it this way, but actually I wouldn't have been able to do it on stream because you can't really keep a good uh, fill in here. So let's see. Let's see what green comes off of there. So what I'll do here with this with this part, can't really see much green in here, but I'll take this, just kind of roll up my paper towel a little bit, wet it, and put that in here. See if we have ink hanging out. Yeah, I don't really have any horror stories right now, Galantium. So, there's old colors up in there. Right, this is why it's good to clean your fountain pens. You even get some old colors up in there, which doesn't affect the writing, but could affect <clears throat> all right so it might have just been hanging out around the the collar here yeah not really much on here so I think we're in good shape now cool we did it Bork Ben Bork I don't think I've ever unscrewed this nib unit before but it's nice so yeah, there we go. So what we'll do now is we're gonna do this. We're gonna pull that piston all the way back or the vacuum rod, whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna let this air out. So I always, when I do clean my pins, especially like the non-converters, I'm gonna leave it like this for a bit and let it dry out. All right, so I'm gonna go dump this water and then we'll move this and uh, then we'll go on. That was a really good one, uh, Bork Ben Bork. Even I learned something on that one. That was a win all the way around. Do most pins allow the nib to screw in like that? A lot do, a lot don't. Yeah. And then there were three. <laughs> all right, so let's set this aside here. So we'll make a nice little bed for this guy. And we'll stick him over here for now. Still using pencils, chat. So this is today's pencil, CDA, uh, the editor from CWPE. All right, I have three pens <laughs> inked up now, chat. And I know what y'all are thinking. I know what y'all are thinking. 
<clears throat> I only have three inked up. Yeah, I did a big cleaning, what, like two weeks ago? Uh, because I knew I was getting ready to audit the Pen Attic 100, so I want as much in there as possible. So this, this um, the Homo Sapiens, this is the only one of these that are in the Pen Attic 100. Um, these do not count. Uh, given for review, given for review, gift, and under $100. Loved your pencil tip photography. Thank you. Thank you, Peck. <clears throat> Mike stains them upright in tissue. What's the reason for laying them down? Well, this one, if I if I if it was still really wet, I would stick it point down in tissue to just kind of draw more ink out. This one is mostly dry, so I'm just letting it air out. <clears throat> Hold off on inking anything for yourself. You may have a sample coming. Nice. Well, I'm not in a hundred. Uh, I'm not in a hurry. I was reading that hundred. Uh, to ink anything right now because I'm using pencils this month mostly as my primary writing instruments. <clears throat> yeah, if it was more wet and if the nib was more wet, I would I put it nib down in a paper towel and it just helps wick out the um, more more water than what I have still left in that pen. So that this one, it's mostly dry. It's not it's not even a big deal. So, all right, um. So which one are we inking up? I don't know. Someone's got to redeem something. I'm not inking anything up. I have no plans to ink anything up. I got dog it. <laughs> Evan Max. Someone got me. All right, Evan Max. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things, chat, because y'all are hilarious. Have you tried a day exclusive with, with, the, with, the, with the Wopex? I have not. God, the Wopex made me stutter. All right, Evan. Here's what we're going to do. I'm auditing... The Pen Attic 100, do you just want to watch and then pick one as we go? Or do you have an idea right now? <laughs> Notes on this stream should be Brad has to do chat directed work. I will I will put that as in the uh, in the description when I upload this to YouTube. You could make me ink another. Well, I think it's timed out for at least an hour or two. So, so what do you want to do, Evan? Do you want to just wait and watch as I start going through the thing? Oh, you, oh, well, you're, you're wanting me to ink up the same pen. You can do whatever you want, Evan. This, this is part of the fun. This is why we do this chat. So Evan's going to have a think and I'm going to grab drawer number one and see what we have here. So this is mostly Nakaya's and Sailor's, I think, in this drawer. Let's see what we get here. We should gang up, have him clean one, fill it up, and have him clean it again. That's why there is some timeouts in here. So, like by the, like the third round, I think I would time you out. It would you would get timed out. How many points for Brad to write a page with a Wopex? Now that's actually something we should do. I need to keep one of these Wopi. I need to keep one of these Wopex uh, for myself. What is missing here? That's good. I'm not used to having an open spot and nothing to go there. I like that. Okay. So let's see what we have here. So I'm not making any decisions today. I'm just reviewing the things that I have. Because I can't overflow this box. That's the goal. So this box, if you don't know, this box right here holds 100 fountain pens. And I don't want to have more Oh, my personal collection of fountain pens, I don't want it to be more than 100. So when new things uh, come in, we might have to sell off some things that have not been used in the past. Uh, so 20 per drawer, five drawers. So we have our Nakayas over here. <clears throat> so these first first few right here. Uh, Nakaya Portables, uh, Decapod, and two Piccolos. Uh, yeah, these, I mean, these are just like the joy. The box is a Toyoka Craft 100. So like almost nothing in these top two drawers is really going to go away. There's a chance some of it could, but like I'm not really getting rid of any of these Nakayas. Could I get rid of this one? And by get rid of, I mean sell. <laughs> 
We're not making this number higher. Y'all keep voting for a higher number. We're not doing that. But like I'm like I haven't used this one as much. But that doesn't mean I should sell it, right? Um, then we have our sailors, our two king of pins. Like I, did, I am down to two king of pins. I think at one point I had four. What are the your what are your thoughts about the semi-transparent paper from Danica58? I have no idea what that is. <clears throat> I mean, if that's called, I'm not even clicking that link, but it's called furniture store and cabinet. <laughs> that's probably a bad idea. Then we have our one Rialo. And then we have a bunch of Pro Gears and 1911s. So it's like, could I... Like the standard ones, like the regular ones, do I use these as much? Retros don't count. So this is just my fountain pen collection. I don't count like the standard pens and like the tactile turns and retros and stuff like that. And it has to be stuff that I've bought for myself. Um, so like the, these, like these special editions, like they're not going anywhere. This one with the nib that I love is not going anywhere. This one with the stack nibs not going anywhere. So could I sell the habanero or the witch or the orange? I don't know. Like they wouldn't be at the top of the list to move, right? I think the definition of unused pins mean you should let it go. There, in general, I do agree with that glyph. I do have some exceptions for reference. Um, that's why I call this collection a library. I do make some exceptions in usage. Um, if they haven't been used, why haven't they been used? And is there a reason, right? So like the standard, like the standard sailors, you can't really make a case for. If I haven't used them, they need to be sold, right? But like if this Nakaya Decapod, I haven't been using as much. <clears throat> so um, I can still keep it. But I do want to make sure I use everything. So then we have like a couple of Platinums. I don't, I mean, everything's pretty much in here. So I don't know, there might be something, some stray thing in here that shouldn't, that's not accounted for, but I don't think so, so. But I think there's there's other drawers with pins that are fold and then, then pins laying down here. So let's not pretend like I have I have space here. Um I never inked my 149, but it's going nowhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the decapod has an awesome nib in it. It has like a really extra fine nib. So uh my platinum uh I always want to call this Kokomo. Is it Kokomo? And then I just love this color, and then this is my UEF platinum. And then this is my Aboya. Okay. So, you know, I don't know that I'm going to move anything out of here. If I have to, like some of the regular sailors would be on the chopping block. Even though I like, I really enjoy those pens. Can I get, and would I be missing anything by getting rid of those pens? <clears throat> All right. And I'm not going to tell y'all which ones I'm for sure selling, but you can kind of you can kind of see the vibes here. All right. So this is mostly pilots here, and then I have my uh, Canaleas here on the end, and then a uh, Stilo Art, but that's here for a reason. Uh, that actually needs to be moved. This actually needs to go probably in the first drawer. Um, I was just, when I cleaned everything up, I needed to put the, in. yeah, so there's a couple of drawers with extra ones, right? Because I just cleaned pens and I needed somewhere to put this. This one goes here and this one needs to go probably up in here. Over here, like this, right? So this is the one with my harmonic nib in it. Um, like I said, I just cleaned out a lot of pens. All right, so, um, you know, we have our Milky Way and we have our 912. We have our two 823s. All right, see you, Tess. You don't really need that 2007 LE, do you? Which one is that one? This one? 
Um, 7.43. Decimos, vanishing points. Let's do this. Yeah. No, I don't really need that one. Like, I don't even... I haven't used the Mount Fuji that much either, but I really like that pen. Like... This is something I asked for for years to have like a really unique 823 and like this is it. Even though I haven't been using it as much, this is definitely one of the coolest pens I have, right? Like I'm not selling this. Um, but like, do I need both of the orange 840? I mean, vanishing points? Hmm, you know, who knows? Um, and then the black faceted, number 74, 91, 92. Like, you know, standard, standard, very not standard. Can you show the second from the left up close? So this is a 912 with art uh, added to it afterwards. So this was sent to an artist in Japan who added this artwork. It's beautiful. And this one has my PO nib in it, which is one of my favorites. This is probably just one of my most used pens period. I don't baby this pen because it has the artwork. I just, it has one of my best uh, nibs to write with. So this pen gets a, a, a good amount of use. Actually, both of these do. Um, yeah, the vanishing points. So this is, I always like to show this one. Did you choose the artwork or did you get it after the fact? There were like three choices. Like there were like three or four scenes you could choose. Um, so, like, I chose the like the koi scene. There was probably, like, a bamboo scene and a couple other things. So, most uses the difference between, like, 1% and 1.1. Facts. That's factually correct. Um, this pen is really cool. This is a Bungu Box 91 from, I don't know, like a decade ago. It's got a shimmer barrel. This is when Pilot wasn't doing anything special. <laughs> I love this pen. I got this at the DC pen show. I almost did. I remember almost not buying this pen. I love, love, love this pen. <clears throat> Are you back home, Glyph? Is that a 912? This one's a 912. It just has artwork added to it. So it's normally just black and silver. Then we get into, is this one just called the Elite? With the hooded nib is a really neat nib. This is just a good writing pen. Um, two Murexes. So the standard Murex is black, and then this is uh, Murex for her <laughs> in red. <laughs> That's what I like to call this one. Like, this is a small, skinny pen. They actually made a small, skinnier pen. You're home, but uh, sick. Yeah, I hear you. Well, good. I hope you had a good trip. I did see some of the Instagram stuff is really good. Yeah. So this is a smaller, skinnier Murex. So I call this one Murex for her. I believe that what, I mean, it wasn't like Murex for her, but I think that was their marketing. It's like, this is like one of the smallest, skinniest pens I already, I use. And then they made it smaller. It's like, okay. And then the uh, M90. So this is, this is the anniversary edition. You can tell about the jewel cap. Uh, M90. So that's just the cool integrated nib. One of those neat things. Lady Murex, the Hurex. Yeah, the Murex is already tiny. Like they made it skinnier and smaller. Whatever. Um, then this is my Falcon that, uh, that uh, Brooks did for me way back in the day. So this is a Pilot Falcon front end section and nib with a Brooks barrel on it. I like skinny pins too. And then I go, and then this is like the opposite. These are like the biggest pins I own, my Canaleas. So I just have three, uh, Levelani, which I love. This one's cool. This one has like some of the best galaxy through it. Like I really love this one with the galaxy in there. Um, Hanuma Bay, which is my number one favorite. And then uh, Kona Cherry, which is just classic. <laughs> one of my favorites so yeah like I don't know what like nothing
I'm ready to sell here. One of the vanishing points. Do you need three of those? Uh, that's why I'm actually down to three. I could probably get down to two. I'd pick either the red or the blue one. Um, if I were to sell, if I had to sell one, I'd, the Hanuma Bay stays forever. I could sell one of the other two probably. But they're all the same shape and the same nib. So yeah, same with like the vanishing point, two orange vanishing points. So. All right, so those two drawers, I don't know, I'll say this about all these drawers. Like it's hard to like take anything out of, right? <clears throat> so then we get into a lot of colorful randomness here. Is audit for selecting what to sell? Yeah. So we're not gonna sell anything. I mean, we're not picking out what to sell yet, but we're, I'm just kind of getting an overview of everything here. So see, we have one extra in here. So I put the, uh, the Orlando Pen Club pen in here um, to look at, <clears throat> like it kind of goes in with this stuff. So then we got, have our Esther Brooks. This could probably go in the first, um, the first drawer with the other Arushi pins. The, um, no, I mean, whenever Evan wants me to ink something up, he's fair game. He was going to look through or pick. He can do whatever he wants. <clears throat> so no, I'm thinking about, um, things I might be selling at a future date. So, yeah, so Evan's just Evan's just chilling and watching. Hey, Toasty. Um, what is this one? Uh, this was a prototype color that they did. So they sold some prototypes at, at different shows. Um, I don't know that this color has a name. <clears throat> but it's really cool. And I think I have my Kirk Spear nib in here. Like the really pointy, pointy one. If I have to run before something catches my eye, I'll designate someone else to choose. Well, you now you've seen sixty pins, so um, yeah, this one I picked up at the Atlanta show one year because I really liked the uh, material. But they never did, uh, they didn't never did a run with this one. My wife thinks it's incredulous that we're all watching go through your pins. She doesn't get it. It's called fun. Yeah, it's fun for me because I forget sometimes what I have. Been the Montana Sapphire, but this was one of their most popular early releases. So yeah, this Tam Tamanori Studio probably needs to go in like the first box with the other Arushi pins. My Newtons, Shinobi and Prospector, Kasama, Shone pins, Skogzi, which I have another Skogzi that needs to go in here. A couple of Montegrappas or a few Montegrappas. I really like the Venetia model. Um. This is the Brooks, um, this was like kind of like the original or one of the early slim Charlestons that he made in like the warm primary manipulation. We called this one, this was the bestseller, the one we called joke, the, the joke name. So we called this one the bestseller. Yeah. <clears throat> and then we have the Levand um, Leonardo and the Frosty Leonardo and the Operex and then the striated stratified i keep always forgetting this stratified maverick and the elwood and then the pelican m2 yeah warm warm primary manipulation warm primary manipulation yes so yeah like you know maybe one or two out of here we can uh we can think about but you know this is good stuff. Like the prospector, like I don't, I haven't used that enough. I need to ink that up. Uh, so yeah, good stuff. Basic Ultim shown could go. Mm, I don't know. I'm such an Ultim fan, right? And then I think, well, maybe if I'm keeping the Ultim, the peak could go. I was like, eh, the peak's pretty weird. I like the peak. <laughs> I talk myself into so much of this. Like, one of the Venetias could go. Like, I'm obviously going to keep the one that I did, which is this one. But this one's really pretty. This was my first one. This one's, uh, this was flax pen to papers uh, color. So, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe the Mia Meteor. I don't know. We'll see. Stuff to play around with. Gifted pens don't count into the 100. Um, usually not. But it depends. I don't. I don't know. There's some. There's some leeway there.
But like gifted is kind of a weird word for me because a lot of pens were given to me for review, right? Does that mean gifted? I don't know. Yeah, I was mad about the peak until someone described it as an old computer monitor. Yeah, there's something about that. Um, something about that peak material. Yeah. Anything under $100 doesn't count? Yeah. That's just like, I have so many Lamis and Kavecos and stuff like that. I wasn't going to deal with, I didn't want to make this too difficult on myself, right? Like, it was just like, I'm not trying to be like super pedantic about it, but I'm, I'm trying to be reasonable to a degree. For a very unreasonable thing that we're doing right now, I'm trying to be somewhat reasonable. <clears throat> Dibs on the orange G10. <laughs> I'm not selling that. I'll probably never sell that, uh, which you probably know. What's that in the middle to the left of the orange one? This one? Is that what we're talking about? This is a Tesori. Well, hello, Tello now. Yeah, just trying to justify the rules. I know. Yeah, so this is a, a Hello Tello um, Venetia model, I believe. And this has the Nemocene 0.6 nib in it. If we're calling dibs, I already know which one Andrew wants. So this is a really neat box. Ink this one. Okay, let me go through this tray and then we'll ink this and then we'll go through the last tray. Because I know you said you might have to go soon, right? Um, okay. So think about what ink color you want for this. And then I can go grab some because I don't have anything in here. Nib Wars! 52 months of summon. Crazy. Didn't forget to do a regular giveaway? Yeah, I need to do that. So we'll do all that after I, I go through this drawer real quick. So be thinking about ink shades, Evan. And then I'll do a regular giveaway. Blue and reds, so let's do a purple. Okay. I'll go pick out some purples momentarily. All right, I'm going to set that one aside. So, three Beaumonts. Well, one Newark, two Beaumonts from Edison. Other Edisons, uh, G10s, uh, Tabaldi, my Franklin Kristoffs. Like, could I sell one or two of these? Maybe. I don't know. Um, this is a, the other Skogsy I need to put with the other one. I have an acrylic Skogsy and a uh, Micarta Skogsy. I love this one. This is a cool material. I really like that material. Um, and then a Brooks. And then another Brooks, Arushi, Lamy Safari. That obviously knows, goes nowhere. The, yeah, this is the Fagionado uh, Orange Celluloid with a titanium nib, which is pretty great. You don't have FPC? I do not. I mean, I do, but I don't really keep it up to with it. Uh, Mike's, um, Mike's Pen Fun. What was this one called? This one has a really good name. I can't remember the name of it. Do you have a veto right for what ink will not go with the pen? Uh, n very rarely. Like, I, I say I don't have a veto right, but there are probably a couple of options we would do. Wicked Wisteria. Yeah, what a good name. What a good name for that one. Um, this one I still need to review. This is an Ebonite from uh, London Pinco. Like this, this one and this one are in the review queue. Um, the Iron Feather Creative and then the London Pinco. These both need to be reviewed. Does that celluloid have a much different feel than an acrylic? To me, they do. I mean, much different saying a lot, but they do feel different to me. Like you can tell when you pick up a celluloid. I, I can tell when I pick up a celluloid. Um, Zodiac Pinco, Stormy Koi, and then the um, Autumn Medley uh, Right Turns. I love this clip. This is I love this. This is probably like a good fall pin. How many pins need to be cut? Uh, right now zero. <laughs> right now zero. So I think we're pretty uh, accurately filled. Uh, we're gonna see in the last box how much overflow I have. Um, but I'd like to. But I'd still like. You can't always run at the maximum, right? So I'd like to cut five or 10. All right, I'm gonna go get some purple inks for Evan. We're about to ink this pen up. So this is uh, Hello Tello, Venetia. I love this material. I did have two of these, I sold the other one. 
And then we have our nemesine uh, converter here. So I need to uh, I need to get a converter for this too. Will you audit the lower 100 pins? Yeah, but like not as, I don't know, completely, if you will. Like, I'll just see, like, if I have a bunch of, like, Lamis that I don't use, like, yeah, I'll sell those. All right, let me go get Evan some, um, some purple inks so we can uh, do this. I forgot to grab a converter. I'll be right back. Let's see if we got some good ones here. All right, be right back. All right, any questions on this trade before I, I put them up and get them out the way just so I can ink this pen? Chat, how do we feel about the latest Esther Brooks being 350 for cartridge converter Yovo nibs? <clears throat> Which ones? Like the standard ones or are they like special edition ones? I mean, that's a big price increase. Like, weren't they like 180? <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna put this drawer up. Does Nima Sane screw in one-to-one -one with the Bach nib unit? Yes. Well, friction, friction fit. So just, just the nib, so um, the nib slides off. So. Yeah. I know I'm in the minority, but I have a difficult time paying that money for a pen $15 nib. I think most people, I mean, most people probably agree with you. But like I buy, I don't know, I don't mind steel nibs. So if I like the barrel, I, I spend it. <clears throat> um, yeah, it just depends. 
it's not everyone's thing. <clears throat> Any recommendations for a decent notebook that's not Moleskine? Um, Leuch terms are always good and Rhodia are always good. Uh, the orange pen, this is the uh, Edison G10 Pearl and this is the Fajinato uh, Celluloid. What are the next to last two on the right? So this one is an Iron Feather Creative Custom and this is a Right Turns Custom. Uh, each of them with a unique clip and a roll stop. So, <clears throat> All right, Evan. I grabbed some purples. I probably have more, but I was just really going. I don't even know what Lilac Night is. Is this even a shimmer ink or something? I don't know. I don't recall inking this. Yeah, non-webby Rhodia. True. Midori paper. If you can get Midori paper, Seagirl, uh, that's my favorite. Um, didn't Iron Feather stop making pins? Uh, I haven't heard that, but you could be right. Like, I, I don't know. Whatever color this is. Is this dark violet or what was the other one? Pink blackberry? Yeah, Omos Purple, no longer made, Dank Lilac, sure. Purple Soul, Robert Oster, and then Aubergine, Roaring Klingner. What do you think? Oh, Moramon's another good call. Moramon's another good call. What do you think, Evan? You got anything here? If you're still here, let me put my pen back together. So yeah, when you buy the um, Nemo scene, they just send you the nib like this. All right, what... Did you see any of these? So we have Aubergine from Roaring Klingner, Purple Soul from Oster, Omos Violet, Ito Murasaki from Pilot, Lamy. I don't know if this is Blackberry or Dark Violet. And then Lilac Knight from Diamine. So whoever was asking about the uh, Nemocene nib, they just send you the nib like this. So it just fits right on the Bach feed, no uh, manipulation. Yeah, Lamy's ink labels are doo-doo. <laughs> Well, I know you would like to go back in here, Nib. Let's go Lamy, whichever the two inks, yeah. I can't remember if it's, this one is the Blackberry or what, or Dark Lilac, but either one would be good. It's not the old Dark Lilac, I know that. I just wanna see if this converter fits. Have you seen the Lamy 2000 Pine yet? Yes, I think it looks really sharp. It's not the old lot, like I know that. It kind of looks like Blackberry to me. We'll see if there if there's green sheen when I open it, we'll know what it is. This is uh, Blackberry, it's got gold. Oh, that's right, they have gold. The new one has gold, doesn't it? The box with the purple side is the violet blackberry. Okay, this one looks like violet blackberry. So this is what you wanna go with, Evan? Sorry, I'm trying to get the... Uh... Ooh, splatter. That's not cool. Look at that, just from that, lifting that little uh, bit there, splattered that much. It's why you, uh, it's why we cover things and use paper towels, chat. I know, well, I'm glad I would have had to clean the desk mat again. That was a lot just for being stuck to the, uh, Stuck to the top of the bottle. All right. This will be a good color for this pen too. 
All right, we did it. Good morning, gay people in my phone and Brad. <laughs> I love that. Hey, I got your uh, I got your envelope and your stickers. I don't. I cleaned up in here. I don't know where I put them, and I loved your notes. So thank you so much for that, Apple Tater. I appreciate you and the stickers. They rule. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this writing real quick. Yikes. Yeah, when the little dry bits go places. What did you miss? A murder. You missed a murder. This will probably take since I converter filled it. It'll probably take a minute to uh, to write, but we'll we'll check it. But thank you, Evan, for redeeming this. This will be a fun one to write with once it gets writing. So the Nemascene is a 0 0.6 millimeter stub. It's a little wider than that to me. I mean, it might technically be a six millimeter measurement, but it writes a little bit wider than that for me. So what we'll do is here we'll put this uh, we'll put this nib down for a little bit. I did kill Barney. Straight up murder. Oh, and this one has the millifluori here on this side. See? Isn't that cool? I like this one with the ink window and the purple. No. I'm glad Birmingham kept those nibs around. Yeah. All right. So let me just slide this over here. All right. One more, one more drawer to go through. Oh, let's do a giveaway. Is Pilot Cocoon a Japanese Metropolitan? Yes. And at twice the price for some reason. I'll be right back. I'm going to go throw this out. Wash my hands real quick in case there's some strays. Okie dokie. Last audit drawer here. So we're not too overflowed, chat. We're not too overflowed with pens. So I'd say we're right at, do we have, I think we filled in the, the one or two gaps we had. So we're right at a hundred, but that has to change, right? Because things happen. So the Kaveco Piston Sport, the Kaveco Steel Sport. So some of them I do make exceptions for. Right, this is um, this is probably less than 100 when I bought it, but it's an important pin to me. So it's one of my favorite materials, favorite style pins. So I do keep this one uh, in the Pin Attic 100 for that reason. So like I have two of the Auto Hoot Design 04s, like I could probably get rid of the black one, right? Like I like my orange and purple one. Um, so yeah, Toga, that's that's where like some of the exceptions kind of go in. Yeah, the painted, like in the painted Kaveco has to go in here, right? So, but like I have two of the 04s now and like I'll probably always ink this one up so I could probably sell that, right? Stuff like that. <laughs> Um, the Diplomat, the Arrow, the Stripes, that's the only one I have. This is the only Lamy 2000 I have is the stainless, 
which I'll probably keep. I prefer the stainless over the Macrolon. Uh, the Lava Roach Ring. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Matthew Martin, OG1 Titanium. This is just an exceptionally well-made pen. Like, it's not fancy, but my gosh, this is like legit good. I have a CP1 somewhere. Then a few Auroras. This one actually probably needs to come out of here. Um, I got to do something with this one. Um, so... This is the flex nib one, and this is the extra fine nib one. Right. What do they say? I think this is extra fine. I think that's why I bought it. Extra fine. What about the new Lamy, green Lamy 2K? I think it looks awesome. Still not for me. I thought it was gonna, I thought it was on the nib, but I think it's down lower. No, there it is, EF. Okay, I just had to get it in the right shade. Um, I love this flex nib because it's not really a flex nib, right? It's just a soft nib. It's fan. This is out of these style of nibs, these gold soft air quote flex nibs. Man, I love writing with this pen. I really, really like this one. So this pen was gifted to me, but this goes in the Penatic 100. So like there's some good exceptions in here, like between the Kaveco and this, this was given to me. This is a review pen that I've yet to review. Um, so this actually, it's gonna stay in here. This one actually is gonna come out of the box eventually because I'll eventually not have this pen. So it doesn't technically count. It's gonna go away eventually. Um, Q Sato with just a wicked extra fine grind on there, which I really enjoy. Um, the painted Kaveco, the Bohem uh, Mont Blanc. The Skogzy Mini Cigaro, Ciguaro, uh, which is just wicked cute. <clears throat> and then uh, Heinz, Studio Agacan, the Enigma, the Y Studio. I see what I'm missing. The Y Studio brassing pen. That's in that's in the other room. I let I let someone borrow that one. Let me go get it while I'm thinking about it, because that needs to go in here. That'll probably take the place of this. Oh, I forgot to do the giveaway. This has been in my pickleball bag for like two weeks because I let a friend borrow it. So I just need to clean it. So yeah, this will be clean up in. This one goes in here, but I need to clean it. So that's fine, That's that has a spot here. Um, and then the uh, Paniter Avatar, or not Avatar. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Paniter something or other. So there, there you go. That's it. So we're not overflowed too much. You want this case? Well, I just set it here because I'm about to do a giveaway and then we're gonna do that. Do you think you could get the 100 down to 20? No. Um, no. <laughs> I'll just, we'll, go, we'll just go ahead and say no on that one. <laughs> Oh, Kiro Cat, do you have a go-to pen for drawing? My current pen sometimes skip when I try to make thin rinds. Uh, Andrew has a really good uh, option there for the Platinum Desk Pen. I love that. Um, and the Lamy Safari with uh, Extra Fine. I can't get down to 20 ink, says Mike. Andrew stays at 30 and it takes work. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's do a giveaway. Um, I actually feel better about this than I anticipated. Because I definitely have probably like a handful that I can sell. And that'll give me the, relieve the pressure from here. Plus I have a bunch of other pins that need to be sold. Just random stuff that doesn't qualify for this. Um, I still want to give away some ink. So let's give this away. And what other ink do we have? 
another Van Diemen's. Pixie Parasols. I think this is a lighter one. So I'm trying to give away some inks, chat, before it gets too cold. All right, we're back to four pens ink, thanks to Evan. I need to get my keyboard back out there. That one is very light. Is it blue or green? Blue or green? <laughs> Just a heads up in case that bothers other people as much as it did me. I have to go look at the uh, uh, images online. So, uh, all right. It's giveaways open. Anyone can enter, anyone can win. Exclamation point waffle. We'll give you the not code lookout in clay and sandstone and the Tassie Seasons Pixie Parasols. Let's see how ink this is, how ink this is, how light this is. I remember using this. Am I ready for the Subway series? I think I would actually root for having a Subway series this year as opposed to uh, the Dodgers or uh, I like Cleveland though. I don't know. I don't. I don't dislike any of these teams. I think a Subway series would be uh, would be pretty nasty. Um, that that would that would be some vibes. And like I, that's actually probably my two. I would rather the Dodgers or the Guardians win. But I think the Subway series would be great entertainment. What was that Soul Gum Ink? Um, it was one of the Atlas Stationers ones. Sidewalk gum. That was a good color. Boo Dodgers. I don't love any of these teams. I wanted either the Padres or the Orioles. Braves had no chance. I like, I don't even pretend like they were in the playoffs. Um, like all the teams I wanted to win are out. So I really don't have any rooting interest. I kind of want to see Yankees Mets just for the drama. So I would have pulled for the Phillies for sure. All right, I've got about 40 seconds left to exclamation point waffle. Mets have the vibes. As long as they have gr Grimace, they have the vibes. Excuse me. Got to sneeze. Woo. Got him. Yeah, God, could I pull for the Yankees or the Mets if if that was a thing? I don't think so. Probably the Mets. God, I don't know what the right answer is there. Uh, this is a Spoke Roadie, which is the company I'm involved in. Spoke, Spoke Design. We make pens and pencils. Um, it's a stainless steel short pen with an orange Delrin cap and it uh, magnet. Uh, Magnet attaches. Boom. My favorite. <clears throat> All right, we're not writing yet, Evan, but we'll get there eventually. I will put this, oh, there it goes. All right. So this is uh, this nib is really great. <clears throat> I 
This is definitely writes wider than a 0.6 millimeter stub. I actually wish it was finer, but it's it's pretty good. It's practically like a 1.0. <laughs> Maybe not quite that big. Maybe more like an 08. Maybe this is an 08. I think it's an 06 though. Not sure how he spells this one. I think it's maybe. This is a really good. This is a really good color for this pen. And this ink flows really, really well. If I win redraw, I'm going to my local stationery store. I have to leave my computer. I hope you win. All right, we're gonna redraw now. <clears throat> you know what? I'll get out my new calipers and measure it. Now I have both the six is still wider than the CM. Yeah, I. It's. I mean, the lines look pretty good. It's. It's probably a six. I guess I'm just. I don't know. I don't know. I guess my. My brain says something different. All right, let's pick a winner. Plain water. Is that a first time winner? Plain water. Where's my new calipers that Brooks sent me? Plain water, you win. That sounds like a new winner. Where's my new calipers? There they are. First time, heck yeah. Heck yeah, plain water. So what you need to do is email me, hello at penact.com with your shipping address. If you do that soon, I will ship it today. If not, I'll ship it later this week, probably Friday or something. But uh, you win these. This not case and this bottle of ink. <clears throat> We're gonna measure this nib. Very congratulations. Oh man. Knock items aren't for sale anymore, correct. Um, Rickshaw makes this Sinclair um, style, which is really good. Mark did a really good job with that. You just had to go blow your nose in sympathy. I was really, you weren't here earlier. I was pretty much down for the count the last two days. I feel much better today, but still some remnants. <clears throat> All right, so that's for you. Let's see if I can actually you think I can measure the nib with this? I don't know if this will work. One day Galen will make a Sinclair as well. They have some models that they were supposed to mess around with. Finally found your A6 seed case. All right, let's see here. I don't know this how accurate this is going to be or if I can even do it. Yeah, it's gonna be 0.6 though, I bet. Oh, maybe I need to do it this flat. Well, no, it doesn't get low enough. Sorry, chat, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Yeah, I can't get low enough. I can't get it right on the tip. Just the I don't know. The writing surface is probably about 0.6. Measure a line. See, that's not where the measurement comes from, though. The measurement is the tip size. The line width can always be wider, right? I mean, it, sometimes it can be the case, but <clears throat> always the measurement's always the physical. Um... So that line is 0.8. <laughs> line is 0.8. You can have a whole blob, big old blob of tipping that writes fine. The contact patch is what matters. 
I guess I'm thinking about uh, like gel ink pens and stuff like that that are 0.5 or 0.4 millimeter. That's the physical tip size, even though the lines can be different. So maybe not the same on the fountain pen where it matters where it contacts the page, like you're saying. So that seems like 0.8. I mean, that's pretty, like I don't see any white space here. So we'll see. I guess my point is, is I wish it was a little bit finer. Um, so this Blackberry ink, look at that sheen. The sheen is wild and it's not stamped on the nib. <laughs> That's cool. There's a loop tool that has a tiny ruler inside, whoa. I've never seen that. That would be a trip. <clears throat> All right, I think we're gonna wrap it here, chat, because my my schnoozle is schnoozling, and uh, I'm fading out. You can see like my eyes. Those are allergy eyes, chat. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm actually feeling really good compared to the last two days. But I know just like <clears throat> my talking and stuff is just kind of like done. Ooh. Let's go. Uh... Let's go vibe chat. <laughs> Take a rest. I will later this afternoon. I actually feel good enough to work today. Um. go vibe. Let's go vibe. Whoops, wrong button. Y'all like this last time we went over to see Scratch Bastard.